of sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. It's stunning. It's brave. It's beautiful. Oh, wait. I'm reading the script to another video. That ain't no woman. It's a man, man. Okay, where were we? Whether you're deciding to buy a laser cutter online, you must know the job of a good marketing team is to convince you of their product. There are some well-designed, solid choices for laser cutters, and then there's the Adam Snack A5 Pro. I mean, the marketing team definitely deserves credit because the response to this Adam Snack laser is mixed at best. I find myself saying it's not the worst product, but it could be better. Their slogan should just be the affordable laser cutter engraver. And what you see is basically what you're going to get. A simple aluminum extruded frame, a 5 watt laser hanging on by two set screws to the carriage, and the reviews also provide no help whether this laser is worth your money or not. One star. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. That's waste with an eye. Don't waste your time with this review. Moving on. One star. The good, bad, and ugly. This Adam Stack appeared to be the best in class. From paid reviews all over YouTube, every glowing reviewer received a free machine from Adam Stack. Wait a minute. You're telling me all I had to do so I didn't have to pay for this Atom Stack was to pander? I can pander better than Disney. We don't understand it, sir. We keep making the same movie over and over and pandering to everyone, but suddenly it's not working. Then we've got to pander harder! So if I understand this review, he was having a hard time aligning the material to the laser. Now, there are tools in Laser GRVL that can help, and I've also seen some people create custom squares to help align their material with the laser. Excuse me, I'm just pandering to those seven dudes who I know would want to subscribe to my channel. Do it. One star. Fire hazard? Seems like this laser gunner took everything from this man. Now we're talking. I feel the stakes have never been higher. You could lose it all, but gain the power of cutting wood with a laser. Here's a review which I can confirm. There are no home limit switches. Adam Stack, for whatever reason, other than the cut cost, makes the user, you, home the laser. I would have gladly paid for these switches. Please. This is the uh, best summary of the Adam Stack. And I'm going to expand on this guy's review. It's not plug and play. This is going to be a part-time job, one where you have to be interested in learning not one, but several new skills to accomplish your goals with this laser cutter. There's the additional learning of software like Inkscape to create your SVG files, your PNG pictures, to get them exported to your laser cutter. Then there are going to be the settings you're going to play around with in laser GRBL, and once you finally figure things out with those guys, there's going to be additional hiccups with the laser cutter settings, like the power and the speed you need for your material. There's a reason why I've had this thing for like a year now, and I'm just now making a video on it. Is the Atom Stack a great product? It's something. I think from my experience and from the reviews, what you get out of this product depends on the amount of time you're willing to put in. Again, Credit to the amazing marketing team of Adam Stack who have this thing labeled as the first choice for beginners. They conveniently leave out the work and hours needed to make this thing work. I find myself spending hours drawing PNG files, SVG files, learning the softwares, creating a document with all the reference settings to etch and cut materials. But at the end of the day, when you do finally get this thing working, it's pretty cool. I mean, come on. It's a freaking laser beam cutting wood. That's awesome. It's a great feeling of accomplishment once you get your parts cut out. 
and to watch the laser slice through the wood so effortlessly, it's been a joy to play with. The etching, once you have it honed in on the right setting, which I admit can be a tedious process, and you will lose some material along the way with your test, the etching actually turns out pretty good. Thank you all for watching this video. Check out our links that are listed in the description below of this video. If you like what we do here, please leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hope your laser cuts turn out awesome and I'll see you in the next one.